Hello guys, this video is all about Lumion 2023 that went live last Wednesday, 14th of March 2023. And let's see what's new. My name is Katrina Magarnzani and I'll see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools and today it's all about Lumion and it's finally here ray tracing is in Lumion. So ray tracing basically it's a more realistic tool in terms of 3D rendering that simulates realistic lighting in your scenes. So I was looking forward, Lumion went live on Wednesday, I was so excited and did my first image and it looked great until I actually start working a little bit inside Lumion. So, Ray tracing right now in Lumion 23, in my opinion, it's amazing, especially and almost only if you're working with indoors, interiors, interior, if you're an interior designer or even architectural elements, um, I think it's great news, not so much for the outdoors. So let's go and take a look about the release notes uh, from the Lumion team and I think it's coming it's just a question of right now what you can do in terms of using ray tracing right now and it has a lot of limitations for the outdoors especially for water glass and any vegetation that has um, that uh, moves so any trees anything that moves with the wind you're not going to be able to use it or to see the effects of this technology in your uh, rendering. So, you know, if you're working in the, in, the, in the outdoors with the garden like I am, this is a big, you know, like, well, let's just say that I was so excited about it and I just went, it's like inflated balloon, you know. So, but I think it's coming. It's just that right now the technical limitations are quite a lot. So, let's see. This is just, I put this in the notes of this video. This is from the... the um, the Lumion team and the articles about the re all the release notes about this new update and it was a big thing it is a big thing um it's just right now there is a lot of limitations for the outdoors let me just say that the program right now the software is normally 30 gig in terms of weight when you install it right now it's 63 63 i believe uh, so it's almost to double uh, of the space you need um so objects animated objects it's a technical limitation in ray tracing so it is like this says here uh, they are working and is in their roadmap let's say uh to remove some of these technical limitations uh, but there are certain constraints in integration of ray tracing uh, pipeline and lumion uh, rasterization engine um, they say that it will require a further update so this new uh, update from uh, from lumion 2023 it's going to be easier to update so that's a good thing as well so these updates will come more frequently than the previous editions so in objects animated objects trees and animated characters are not converted to the rt engine uh, this means their shad shading and reflections may be inaccurate or not displayed so you know trees so i use a lot of trees um custom materials fe uh, feature has been temporarily removed um not sure why this will be fixed in the upcoming release uh, but this has uh, not to do with ray tracing i think i believe but glass and water materials are not converted to the rt engine this will be fixed in an upcoming release so we just have to basically wait for the updates uh, subsurface scattering, although fully function is not optimized. Another thing that I was really upset, it's the 3D grass. 3D grass, it's, it, it looks weird right now as well. Um, but yeah, so you have uh, another, another restriction is that you can only use in the desktop and lighter uh, rendering version. So no to print or no in a poster mode as well. Uh, you can't use uh, RT, um, artistic reflex uh, effects not compatible, and landscape grass not converted to the RT. So, this some of them, I th it, for what they say, it's, they are coming, the updates, but it's still quite a big. Um, for me, it was a little bit disappointing, especially glass and water. Come on, this is like the first things you're gonna want to use. Uh, or see the effect of the uh, ray tracing engine um, 
like it says here, foliage, uh, fur, 3D grass, shadows are calculated using rasterization pipeline, so not the RT engine. Um, so I'll put uh, this release now so you can go a little bit further. Uh, and he actually, I put this one as well, how to use in ray tracing. So in, in their example, actually the new example they have always in the welcome page, it's all about the interior. So I think they focus a lot more on the interiors and it looks amazing, some of their images. But I'm just not seeing it right now a big in terms of um, innovation if you're working with gardens and the outdoors. Um, you can go through if you really want to look uh, for more information. I'll just add this one about using ray tracing, but it's all about the indoors right now. So let's go and see the home page. So you have, it's a little bit different uh, in terms of graphic and layout, but basically it's everything there. You just have the icons are a, a bit different uh, graphically, um, but basically it's all there. And you have this new minimalistic interior, and this is gonna show you off uh, the ray tracing. It's the only one that has, uh, the that they applied uh, ray tracing, and it's a great way for you to see how it works, to do some few tests, um, uh, renderings for you to check it out, the quality, it's amazing. The quality, it is amazing. Don't forget, you need NVIDIA RTX um, graphic card if you wanna use this technology, okay? So you need to make sure this is another big um, uh, obstacle that you, you need to, to make sure maybe you need to uh, upgrade your machine and at least think about it. Uh, if you're working with the outdoors, if you're landscaper or garden designer, don't go rushing into upgrading your machine if you can't afford it right now, because I don't think uh, you're gonna see big, big improvements right now before the, the new updates. So as you can see, the graphics are a little bit, the icons the, uh, are a little bit different. Um, uh, the menu changes a little bit as well. You have the materials editor, uh, I just want to show you something. The materials editor, it's a little bit different. So they basically, um, now you have um, these new uh, materials and you have this is where you have the landscape and the glass material, the water, etc., the waterfall, and then all the materials are in one place uh, in terms of, for example, concrete is in stone. Uh, so, you know, it's going to take a little bit used to because you are so like uh, format for the other. So you just need for the other uh, way they had um, the categories of materials. But, you know, it's just a question of getting used to it. Um, and uh, of course, you can you can if you double click, you have the settings of the material. I'm not seeing uh, the star. Remember that you have the little star that you go to your favorite materials. I'm not seeing right now um this uh, this uh, this option uh because i think it will help um to be honest but you know maybe something that's coming as well you can always search for the materials um and you have of course the landscape you have the, your 3d grass um as you can see here the 3d grass i'm going to show you an image uh but it was from a a, a project done in a previous uh, Lumion version. So here on the left, it's a, this is, was a, a project from 12.5 Lumion uh, that I uploaded now for the new version, okay? So here on the left, it's a rendering done in the 12.5 Lumion version and the 3D grass looks fine. And here in the 2023 version, I don't know what exactly changed, but you can see the 3D grass is all weird out. So I'm not sure, I need, still need to test more. Another thing to, to notice in terms of the, the, it seems a bit more saturated, a bit more vibrant, uh, the colors. But again, this was originally done in the 12.5 Lumion version. So maybe that's something got to do with that in terms of the colors I'm seeing. And it's just maybe too vibrant a bit for me. Uh, but uh, I think color correction was improved as well. So, but we go in more detail in future videos, but I'm not like loving it, especially this model. Okay. So this is something I still need to work it out and see if it changes, if it's a model just done in Lumion 2023. Uh, but let's go back to Lumion. So you have the grass, 
uh, in here looks fine uh, i think it may be a question that it was a 12.5 uh version of lumion um but yeah this is something i need to try it out um but you have here a lot of materials nothing very new i believe uh, i i haven't seen nothing new um you know you can always search uh, if you search for l23 uh normally in the models i believe in the materials l it show you the new ones but here it is not showing anything another thing i noticed is that it took saturation out of the settings so this is a new setting so now you have the texture here you have relief roughness you can put reflectivity the maps if you want to upload your own materials pretty cool emissive strength load map displacement opacity it's all here um subsurface scattering and clear coat this is a new one as well uh but I uh, sometimes I used to use saturation uh, for uh, for example if I wanted to brighten up the colors if I was uploading a plant uh, a 3d model plant but I wanted to saturate a little bit the colors of the flower I used but uh, I'm not seeing it right now I don't think it's here so you have the of course the 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 movement the the um, to offset the, the the material you have the weathering so pretty cool weathering strength now and type so this you used to have already it's nothing changed and of course the leaves the spread etc so in here nothing changed i just think that yeah, and they add some things of course the clear quote coat it's pretty cool it's just it's basically as you can see here it makes it shinier it's like you wet it varnish or oil to um to your materials so that's pretty cool but again um, i used to use saturation quite a lot and um i'm a bit it's a bit annoying that they took it out uh but yeah and uh, uh, right now i don't have the favorite step either so i'm not sure if this is something they're gonna add uh, soon another thing that i was a bit it, it comes with, the, with the, the, the the new update sometimes things that worked in the previous uh, library in terms of 3d models you need to adjust them or they don't load uh, really well so i'm a big fan of building up your plant your uh, library of uh, plants so this is something i worked with and i had quite a lot of 3d models plants i've purchased and upload them i purchased from back street to bro squid all these websites and i've upload them and add the texture so it's quite a lot of work as you know if you've done it previously and uh, i have quite a lot of plants that they are fine uh so they 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 i just had to uh, to um copy the 3d models from the previous lumion library to the uh, new one but i have quite a lot of plants that for some reason are not great uh or they don't upload the this one is a new one already uh but the scale is all it's all uh, out of whack and uh, for example i have this one the lobelia that for some reason they don't um the 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 textures of the flowers are not here the actual flower as you can see here by the the contour in blue it's here it just doesn't up uh, doesn't show the texture and i've tried to add it again and it still doesn't show so i need to go and do the whole thing again uploading the model deleting this one uploading uploading all the textures all this works so my plant library has to be all redone basically not all but a lot of them you know what i mean so this was like this was something that hurt me a little bit um some of the plants they are a bit of you see like i'm saying you have the oh no this one is cool this one is good but some of them i only have like the 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 um, i don't have the the flowers if it's just the 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 actual uh you see like this herbuto zunedo you see i just have the 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 trunk the bark and i don't have the actual leaves and fruits uh, so you know i have to redo all just check out all my uh, library and see what i have to change what i have to do it again 
So that's another thing to be uh, careful about. Let's go and just quickly before I get lost all the release notes. So of course, uh, first of all, it's the ray tracing effect with all that um, that uh, that uh, issues we have talked previously, especially if you work in the outdoors. So you're going to see a lot of great um, examples in terms of renderings, but they normally a lot with, to do with the indoors. OK. PBR workflow. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail in all this. I just want you to, to see the main things. Um, surface scattering, the clear coat, like I was saying, is like you polish look uh, changes in terms of texture maps and the, with the colors uh, the new settings so they go quite a bit in detail distortions as well texture relief uh, another this is a cool thing uh, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's a new gizmo in terms of uh, when you want to move things around so for example you have now it reminds me a bit of uh, twin motion to be honest if you want to rotate you have this gizmo thing and it's it's not just twin motion a lot of other programs uh, do this okay so i think it's pretty cool i think it's just a, a a cool way to oh this is not what i wanted to do it's just a cool way to to move and to uh, to to move your objects um instead of having to go in the sliders all the time uh, you can just move it So the new gizmo and it's weird. So, you know, it's like when you delete something, I'm just going to delete for you to see. It's like the ghost is there. So this happens a lot. I don't know exactly why it has to do with the new technology applied in the in the in the software. But it's like the ghost of the something is here. You know, it's like it's weird. But it's funny. Uh, and with com more complex things, you can see more, uh, especially with plants and things like that. Anyway, uh, let's go back to the list. Uh, that gizmo thing is cool. And you have this magnet thing, the outdoor snap. So it basically snaps against the line. E easier, e e it, and it's pretty cool that you can, it, it's more quick instead of having to rotate everything. Uh, so that's cool as well. And uh, I just wanted to show you a, a, a thing here that I think I can't work with it yet. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but you know, when you're doing your photo renderings and you want to, uh, to, to do the same effect for all the photos. So imagine that you have a first, uh, so you can see here because it has ray tracing it's taking a bit to, to, to preview the effects. I'm just taking ray tracing out. Uh, it's just to show you something. Now, you know, you, before you have to go to the, the effects, you do the effects for the first image and then you go here and you copy the effect list and you go to all the images and you, you paste. So if you wanted the same effects to all the images, but now you have a master effect list. So you basically can come here, uh, do the effects and you will apply to all the images. So I tried to do this and it didn't actually work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, maybe it's something I'm doing wrong. I'm not sure, but it didn't actually do it. So this is something I need to, to, to try it on better. Um, it, it, it just, I don't know how I'm, what I'm doing wrong. And now when I'm here in the master effects, uh, list, uh, I can't render the images. I need to go to the actual photo and render the image. Um, so, but this is really cool. So I'm sure they're going to fix this or I need to work it better. I'm not sure if it's me, uh, but uh, uh, this is pretty cool. This is going to be amazing because now you don't have to copy paste, copy paste to all the images. You can do it just in one go. That's, that's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, so this is some of the images I have here, for example, of these models in the photo editor, but anything else, you don't have a lot of new effects except the ray tracing and the color correction. Uh, they did some upgrades as well. Of course, you can come here, the saturation I was talking about, uh, but yeah, I'm just going to take the effects out. Um, 
but yeah, not a, a lot of effects. Uh, just the, the ray tracing, I haven't seen nothing new yet. Another thing, just to show you, uh, if we want to go to the models, um, I don't have a lot of uh, plot models. We have some, but again, you can put L23 and you're going to search and it's going to show you uh, some some uh, some new models. So you have here some, I was pretty sure I've seen this one before. But anyway, um, you do have some, some new plants, especially trees, it seems, and some indoor plants. You see that you have this ghost thing going on, and I'm going to delete it just to show you. Okay, this one was pretty quick. But especially if it's my uh, library plants, you know, um, you can really see it. So, yeah, we have some trees. We have some trees, new trees. Okay, so the, but that's pretty much it. Um, it's just, and now it takes a little bit longer. It's just the, the, especially in the materials, it takes a little bit longer to look for. Well, uh, because it's so used to the, to the old one, the old library style. So, new object tags, L23, like it's saying here. Uh, material speaker improved. Um, yeah, I have to explore this a little bit more. You know, concrete being in stone category, just, you know, okay, fine. Um, you have a new camera path. I haven't tried this on yet, but it seems pretty cool that you actually can do a path for the camera for your animations. This is something I'm going to explore in a later video. Um, and as well, uh, update, uh, uploading your, your own camera path from other softwares. So that's pretty cool. Um, ah, ex uh, aspect. this is quite fun as well. If you go to photo mode now, this is a little bit different as you see here. Remember that you have these settings before, you're just a little bit different now, but now you have this aspect ratio as well. You can do like, if you want to for Instagram posts, for example, and things like this, or if you just want a new style of, uh, um, a new format for your renderings, you can change here now. Okay, as well as flip it. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's pretty cool, especially if you want to upload for social networks and things like this. So yeah, it goes through all the format settings, editor resolution, all the master effect list. So I need to come and take a better look at this uh, to make sure that I'm, because I just can't seem to, to keep it working, to make it work. Uh, so yeah, and the content library, this is the things they have new. Um, and the color correction was updated as well. So, yeah, so basically I'm still kind of, uh, waiting for the, 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 the actual ray tracing to come to the outdoors, uh, for me to really enjoy this update. Um, but I think it's an amazing, um, it really upgraded the images, especially for the interior design. Uh, aspect uh, of the uh, if you're using Lumion um, but yeah quite a lot of new things a lot a lot of work uh, went uh, into making this software even better but yeah it's still gonna take some updates to really enjoy all this in the outdoors so I'm gonna leave all this uh, all this um, uh, note so the basically the general release notes the how to use the ray tracing and the transition of and uh, when they say transitions it means the um uh, the constrictions that you have right now using ray tracing okay so uh so i'm gonna do all this in the description and we're gonna have uh future videos exploring more specific uh, items from this long list of updates especially when it comes to the outdoors so i see you guys in the next video